we got to understand that the only person that controls what's going on is the person looking in the mirror. And I found out the most powerful thing, the most gangster thing anybody could ever do, therapy. What if we approached life like we are warriors, come from a place of self-love rather than self-loathing? We're just gonna make you your best self so you can do all the things you wanna do in your life. The sad thing is that most people often don't wake up by themselves, they need a wake-up call. At the same time, people are recognizing that they need to take more control over their own health. What I see, and I know certainly personally, the biggest barrier is fear. You have a choice whether or not to get stalled by your fear or to pursue anything that you've got going for you in your future with love. To me, it's always fear or love, fear or love. I have a belief that has served me in my life, and that is that everyone is rooting for me to win. I can tell you I'm only an expert on one thing, and that's how to be me. And I do it well. You gotta figure out why were you born. I am on this planet to rock human beings. I will rip them wide open and show them their own beauty. I have tremendous energy to give. I wake up every morning with purpose. There have been studies done on philanthropy, people who give. Well, they always feel good when they give. Our spirit needs to be lit on fire a bit. As I was volunteering, I met a woman. She had had the worst year of her life. Her and her two kids ended up in a homeless shelter. That was the moment that I said, this is unacceptable, we have to get involved. We don't like to say that we furnish homes for families who are leaving homeless shelters. We furnish dignity. We provide dignity and hope for those who have lost it. There's a paradox in life where our curses will become our blessings once we wake up to a new reality about them. Prancercising is like a cross between yoga CrossFit and Japanese horseback archery. Oftentimes, what's most weird about us, we're most shamed about, we wake up in adulthood and that becomes our greatest gift. Whatever you fear and don't face controls you. Whatever you fear and take steps to face, you can eventually control it. You know that Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Anything that is gonna elevate you to a higher level is gonna come with effort, it's gonna come with resistance. What you're talking about is consciousness. How do you tap into that? Maybe make a different decision. And the decision is that no matter what happens in your life, you're gonna live in a beautiful state. Everything in life that I was searching for in addiction that I never found, I knew at some point I was gonna be able to experience all those things. And those are gifts. And when you can utilize those gifts for self and then turn around and give them back to help other people, you have found life's purpose. The key is to be in the present and your purpose will find you. We have the opportunity to actually be with people who are like, I am walking into the unknown. Can you walk with me? And the answer is, of course. Yeah, this is life. I've been blessed. It's well over 200 million people have read my work. Every disadvantage comes with a corresponding advantage of equal size. The times that I respect myself the most are when I live with courage. The more you study successful people, the more you find people who are told that they couldn't, that they shouldn't, that they were less than, that they were broken. If you don't leap out of bed in the morning full of vibrant energy and nothing will stop you getting the day's work done, you're not well. Bursting with energy, that's wellness. Everything has to be bam, straight on. Straight on. You have to love yourself. You see the theme? It's the power of self-love.